Okay guys, here's what we're gonna do for part two of this installation for a uh, new router firewall in the apartment. Uh, things we'll need, we'll need the, an old desktop, we'll need the uh, monitor and your keyboard, uh, mouse is optional. We'll need USB uh, Ethernet devices. Uh, minimum specs for this one is 512 meg RAM, so it's minimum, so we can use anything. And about, I recommend 20 gig hard disk space. So, uh, assuming you've already installed it um, from an installer, you can get the image and put it in a USB uh, thumb drive and install it. And then, um, once that installed, uh, I'll show what the next thing we need to do for, to properly configure this uh, these once you have them. So, uh, um, in the first part, I'll show you how to do this one, but assuming you're coming fresh from a fresh install. So, we throw this on. As you can see, we're booting up. It will boot into what you need to do. Uh, all that stuff, all the Linux app, sorry, uh, FreeBSD, Monowall uh, interface. As you can see, it'll recognize all these. Uh, if you have these USB ports, those are what it tracks. The keyboard and all that stuff and later on i'll show you what happens uh, when we plug uh, each one of these in turn okay when it asks for this one uh, set up vlan say no for now uh, it's going to ask for this one so go ahead and just uh right now there's only one by default it should be if you're using an old device that will be and as you can see from the back of this one uh, it doesn't have, there's only one F, uh, Ethernet that's going to be coming from your uh, home router. And we're going to plug the USB Ethernet drives in any of these ones, or assuming you have them, in turn. So, uh, since that one's going to be your WAN, just literally enter that one. Match, match. Okay, right now there's nothing, because we don't have anything. It doesn't give you an option. No other interfaces and we will proceed so it's going to configure uh, everything what it needs to do the interface and all that stuff other services are going to be put on like the dns um, web configurator your gui interface and here we are, we have a fully booted system, but as you can see, we only have one interface available. If we click choose one, assign interface, there is only one. Uh, again, it'll ask you, so uh, just control C, it's, a, it's fine. So how do we know which interface needs to be uh, assigned to, uh, one is for uh, in effect network, uh, and then Option one is for uh, production, and then uh, optionally one for something else. Um, but in general, we'll probably just need two. Okay. So um, to find out what one is going to be, uh, what the because we need to know what the interface name is going to be. In this case here for one, it's EM zero. Uh, let's just um, plug this in the first interface uh, let me I'll choose the farthest one okay so one of these and as we see this is assigned as UE0 with that uh, MAC address okay that's good to know right so you can do nothing or choose something just press enter uh, now if we want to add a second one again it's not assigned here because we need to assign that later so I'll add the third one remember UE0 for the front I guess you better label this one as UE0 and we'll add a second interface here so now we have two and as you see here it's assigned as UE1 so that means uh, we have three interfaces, right? If you recall, the first one, which is going to be our WAN, 
the second one which I we wish you can uh, let's for now let's assign this as our production and production ops and this will be our infect network so that we if we need to have networks for both at the same time we can do that but we need to segment it okay so now uh, what needs what needs to be done is we need to assign the interface remember you easier was the farthest left and UE1 was the next one. We assign the interface. There. As you can see, we now have three instead of just one. And like I said, uh, let's not use VLANs. But for now, EM0 is the WAN. UE0 is going to be our production and production ops. And UE1 is going to be our infect network. Uh, optionally connected. So EM0 is for our WAN and for our general LAN uh, we're going to use UE0 so uh, it's possible that depending on the whatever USB you buy uh, the name is going to be something else like VPNet or something else uh, just take note that when you plug in uh, one after the other you take note of what their names were in this case it's using UE right so UE0 is going to be our LAN our first LAN actually, because in this case we have two LANs, um, UE0. And then it says uh, optional optional one, or it just depends on how many of these you plug in. That'll be optional one, two, three, and four, and so forth. But since uh, in this case we only need one more, and it's gonna, we're going to assign it to UE1, the unassigned one, and proceed. And it start we start to uh, reconfigure in the back end and reload services. There we go. And as you see, uh, they are, these are assigned. Now, since um, the network, our WAN network, is actually copying it from our home router, what we're going to do is, and our home router is using the HCP, right? So what we're going to do is change the WAN uh, interface IP address to the HCP. So two, set interface IP address, and when, enter the number, and it says configure IP address WAN interface via DHCP, say yes. Uh, let's not use IPv6, and just breeze through that. Sure, revert to HTTP, makes it easier for us, uh, for now. So the configure is started. WAN has the HCP. Enter. So now it won't see anything because I don't have this plugged right now. But when you plug it into your router later on, it should show you uh, the right uh, the HCP IP address from your uh, home router. Next, we assign the IP address for LAN. Uh, you can use any uh, internal IP address for this one. I suggest the um, 192.168.something range or you can use the 172.something range or 10.something segment um, as long as LAN and OPT1 uh, are different IP address um, segments right so let's assign uh, the LAN uh, choose 2 for LAN um, here, uh, it's going to ask for a static IP address. I suggest 192.168. Um, choose anything uh, from 0 to 256. Uh, I, would, uh, I would just choose um, and be aware that the router is probably using this. Uh, same 192 when it's providing a DHCP to your WAN. So let's choose something like really high or something unique. Um, let's use, um, let's say, 88. And then assign this as 1 because that's going to be your primary gateway uh, when you assign IP addresses. We'll do, this will be the same thing for up to 1 later on, but use something else rather than other than 88. Okay, and the subnet is 24, 
and since this is LAN and anything and it's not WAN it'll just use the upstream of WAN as your uh, the connectivity so just enter and then nothing for IPv6 and yes enable the HTTP server this makes it a lot a lot easier and in this case I would assign 192.168.88.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.